Welcome to Doctor Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to react to episode 10 of season 7, Fear the Walking Dead. Jarrell knows the title. Morning Cloak. There you go. That's right, guys. So we're going to be getting an unexpected character showing up at the tower uh, from the synopsis that is Charlie. And she kind of gets recruited by a young ranger. We kind of saw it in the trailer. It looks like she may have a love interest in this. Um, what is Charlie's angle with dealing with Strand? And what of our other group who's in the tower, Wendell, John, June, Grace. And uh, yeah, uh, we're, get, we're getting a lot with Howard in this one. And yeah. and from the from the um, the teaser trailer, the we teaser saw? trailer yeah, the that we saw, teaser, yeah. it looks like Howard is just losing it. Maybe he's going to start to lose it. That That's kind of our biggest thing. We've kind of always wondered who's we've, running we, the show. We've seen different sides of him. We've seen. That's the kind of reserve side where he doesn't say much. And then we see the outspoken one. Like, is he really biding his time with Strand? Or is he all in with what Strand's doing? We see that he's kind of all in with what he's doing. And I've kind of I think we've seen the trailer where it looks like Howard is helping throw people off the roof. Now, he could just be in fear for his life because he no, knows he'll get killed. I, I think Howard's all in. All in? But the question yeah. is, is he all in for his own motives or is he all in with Strand? Exactly. I think that's the biggest question. That's the biggest question, yeah. So once again, we hope you enjoyed our episode nine reaction. Again, <laughs> wasn't a great mid-season premiere. <laughs> I um, hope you enjoyed it because... Yeah, we didn't have a... <laughs> I we, wouldn't. <laughs> I don't even know how you all... I mean, you guys have already seen it, so... Uh, the, the way that I edited, edited and cut a lot out, it's going to be it's going to be probably weird, a short one. Yeah, probably. We, obviously, yeah. we're recording in the same night. So, yeah, that's probably going to be short. Yeah, I'm probably. guessing it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, let's get into episode 10. Let's do, let's it. do it. Go. All right. I want to see Strand with some alcohol, an umbrella, and an awesome please, outfit. Just please tell me we're opening with Strand. Careful, kid. Nope. I think that's that new kid who... React or recruits with Charlie, maybe. We'll see. You guys go ahead. I'll What's Victor looking for out there? None of your That's business. Between him and his rangers. Aha, see? So join him when you're ready. Who's that going to be? When I say it is. When Victor says you are. See? The kid's 15. <laughs> Shit, man, you look at least 30. <laughs> <laughs> Another one? No, this is not just any butterfly. This is the morning cloak. Extremely rare, lived for about a year. And Victor has got the perfect spot for it on the shelf. Seriously? Are you fucking serious? In a nuclear fallout? Look, this isn't hazy, Ali. It's about how you see the world. About who you choose to be in it. Show Victor what you're capable of. That you can be something greater. Then you'll be ready. Go get the morning cloak, bro. Go get that butterfly. How would you know where to go? Forest, but I like mean, he said, it was it wasn't it's rare. Oh, they're just magically there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how are you gonna keep it alive until It'll stay alive. It's got I think it has holes in the top so it can breathe. Think that butterfly is real or CGI? Well, <laughs> The Walking Dead doesn't have a good CGI record. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Nice work. Hands up. That's a girl. It's Charlie. Turn around. Oh, that's Charlie. Oh, oh, come on, Charlie. Take your mask off. She got what she wanted. You weren't back when we said. John? Howdy, Charlie. You two know each other? No. They just said <laughs> each other's names. <laughs> Come on. One of Morgan's. Wait, John. You'll be okay, kid. Just stay calm. She's coming with us. Why? I told you that she needed to show Victor what you're capable of. You just might get your shot. Can't capturing one of Morgan's people. That'll give you a shot, not the damn butterfly. This is a Charlie episode. Well, I've been looking for a way into this place for a while now. I just thought that maybe one of your people would have blueprints or something I could use to help me sneak in. For what purpose? I want to live here. We know her history of infiltrating. <laughs> yeah. 
Look, I knew that it was the only way that I could be a part of this. This? A chance at a normal life. I certainly understand that. But why not come sooner? On the sub? The computers. When the emergency power's on, you can see what day it is. I looked, and I'll be 13 this week. No. <laughs> yeah, she's... Well, in the timeline, it makes sense. I know, sense, I get it. <laughs> the, the actress, no, but... <laughs> I just want a normal life, and I know that this is where I can do that. It's June. We have a problem in the infirmary. Flit <laughs> off before we got there. Any other rangers? That place was cold, dead. So you're telling me that you want to go out there, and you could just stay in here? You wouldn't understand. What the hell was that? Fuck, dude. They just threw somebody off. I don't see him down there. Oh out of the wall now, Blair. <laughs> it's what Victor would have wanted. What, for him to kill himself? Garcia promised he'd do anything he could to protect this place. Well, what was he scouting for? Parts. Our elevators haven't worked since we were attacked. Victor wants them fixed. I mean, what if I can get them for you? Will you let me live here? Charlie, no, it's too dangerous. Not necessarily. You really think you could do this? Would I get to live in the tower? Uh, it's Victor's call. But he listens to me. Does he? Does he? <laughs> <laughs> Does she really want to be in here? Or is no. she just doing sketch? She's I don't being trust sketch. anything Charlie you says. You love Charlie. I hate Charlie. This is your chance to prove yourself. By dying like Garcia over some elevator parts? It's not about the elevator. And what's it about? Finding out why Charlie's really here. So he's going to pretend to like her and pretend to love her for info. But she could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I know a place to hold on. Or just people in general, I'm not sure. But could be Arnold's people. How did you know that gun was here? And then they just I mean, magically went away. I used to live nearby. Come here on the weekends. We had a couple robberies. Come on, it'll only take like five minutes. I'll show you when we get back from getting what Howard wants from the elevator. But what if I don't make it back? And what if you don't? You know, the Rangers didn't. One roll. <sighs> Are we seriously watching this right now? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Fear. I mean, God damn it. These first the two episodes are I just, know, it's, what is going it's, on? I, it's really making me get season four vibes. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Ready? Let me get a strike. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> you couldn't just leave one or two pins up? No. I saw the piece of string that pulled the other ones down. <laughs> Ali. Ali, what is it? Well, Parents. Yeah. Military. Explains why he wants to be in the Rangers. Who's Muhammad? I saw his name under that photo of you two. Were you guys teammates? He was my dad. <laughs> Muhammad. And Ali. <laughs> That's legit. I like that. I like that. That was good. Your name's Muhammad. You name your kid Ali. Fuck yeah. What happened to him? The bomb went off. Oh, man, a lot the of bad people. shit that came with it got into his blood. A lot of people died from the bomb. It's it's. That's mm -hmm. what I like about this. We're connecting the the bomb with you yeah. know other stories. Mm -hmm. Garcia said there was a lot of dead inside. Yeah, most of them are probably at ground level, so I'll just start higher. How are you going to do that? I can handle it. Uh, parkour. I've done this before. You're really doing all this just so you can live in the tower? Yes. Yeah, that, and I <laughs> want to help you become a ranger. Why do you want to help me? Oh my God. Well, I wouldn't be getting this chance if it wasn't for you. You know, one thing they should probably s start doing is... Maybe whispering do you, in the yeah. open? Hands up. Oh, yeah, fuck. That was a chick. That was not. That's all I have. That wasn't Madison. Clean clothes. Nice gun. 
course. Sherry. Must be one of Strange. Sherry. Yeah. Trying to think he'll kill you. You want to tell us why he keeps sending people to the pit? What's the pit? Yeah, they keep calling it the... Well, the pit sounds different. You, you would have to call it a crater, but it could be a pit. Because it is a pit full of walkers. It's a pit. It's a pit. A massive pit. Please, let me put my mask on. It's not safe in there. Open the door. These are kind of Arno's people. Or maybe it's the other crew. Oh, look at that, dude. You all just got taken out. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> they all just got taken out and they had guns. And look at the look at the radiation goo. And that's only like five to six walkers. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. I have not been this frustrated with fear in quite a while. No, they're obviously radioactive walkers, and we are spraying more radioactive spraying material it, all over the walking place. Walking among it. Like, let's get done with the with the blast zone then, if we're not gonna be accurate. Oh no. That's not his dad, is it? You better Dirt push that. Yep. Get that radioactive shit off of you. Okay, maybe I'm underestimating her. Whoa, how the heck did she, she get a magnet on that fly? Look at that, bro! Oh, those are equipped with them. It's bullshit. <laughs> I didn't tell you the truth. About what? About why I came to the tower. Are you fucking... Are you serious? Are you spilling your guts? Morgan sent me. Or are you, to do what? Are you playing him? I'm supposed to turn off the beacon on the roof tonight. You made me believe you. You made me help you. When Strand finds out about this... He won't! Of course he will! Because I'm not gonna go through with it! Yeah? I'm serious. Yes, Howard, I copy. I'm here. It's taking so long. We're about to head out. We? Did you find out what I asked? Yes. I did. Because we can do it together. You did what Victor would have done. Away from Morgan, away from Strand. We, we don't have to get stuck in the middle. I told you I was with my dad until the end. That wasn't true. When he got sick, I... I left him. He said you didn't want to run away alone. You don't have to. You gonna turn off the beacon still? All those things that you never got to do. We can still do them. Or some of them at least. What about you? And there's still a lot of things I haven't done either. Like what? Do not say it. Kiss the girl. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> found some places on my patrols where we can hold up for a bit. Oh, dude, so where is she? Better. Where is she? She's gonna hit him over the head. Charlie? She needs to get in the tower. She needs to get in the tower. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's so predictable, though. <laughs> like, is it for real? How is she? Stable. Why did it take that long? I know. <laughs> What's wrong I thought with they her? were gonna say dead. She was exposed to radiation. June, how bad is it? Given the amount of exposure, she should make the most of everything. This, I'm so sorry. Is this for real? Like, if this is all ploy, this is magical acting. Is it for real? Well, all June's got to do is think about John Jr. And True. she's tearing. Yeah. Tell me, why is Charlie here? What did Morgan send her here to do? Morgan didn't send her. She was telling us the truth. Nice work, all things considered. We'll have to wait for Victor to get back to sign off, but uh, I think you can safely assume that tomorrow will be your first official day as Ranger. No, he won't be there. They're going to throw him off the roof. No, they're going to run away together. I'm calling this right now. She's going to turn off the beacon. He's going to catch her. They're going to run off together. Again, I'm no expert, dude, but... the fuck? Am I wrong here? I'm scared, Ali. Uh, with everything that they've already gone through, they already all have radiation in them You anyway. saw Chernobyl with me, right? I didn't see it with you, but I saw Chernobyl. Like, we watched it at the same time. Yeah. 
Yeah. They quarantined those motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Charlie. It's... <laughs> All right. Um, hey, you were right. Something that's beautiful deserves to live. You're going to be thrown no off the fucking roof it's... now, bro. For letting out their fucking butterflies, you're getting thrown off the roof. I'm wondering if this might be Charlie's last episode, man. Uh, Radiation kiss. She's going to slit his throat. (laughs) (laughs) I have to turn that beacon off. Morgan. I have to kill you now. I'm supposed to turn off that light. I need to find a way to tell him what's going on. I'll do it. She used him to do it for her. I don't and think then... she necessarily used him. Like, I think she cares about him. No, she used him. So he'll do it. And he get, he is Dude, gonna... if she used him, she's a freaking black she's widow. Gonna get throw... She's going to get... <laughs> Seriously. He's going to get thrown off the fucking roof, dude. Like, you have to break it. You can't just turn it off. You have to break it. No, there's a switch. I know, but you have to break oh, it. Oh, they can easily they can switch easily it back fit... on. Yeah. <laughs> Why turn it off when they can easily turn it back on? This is why he sent him. Mm. Howard, Dill. See? He's getting thrown off the building. Okay, they want this place to change, and that can't happen with Strand. Well, that's where you're wrong, Ali. It's the only way. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> please, please, Howard. Don't do it, please. He's going off the building, bro. And she's going to watch. Told you. No. No. You killed him. You killed him. You killed him. I suggest you back off unless you want to join him. Oh, my God. You're a monster. No. He attacked me. He left me no choice. You lay one hand on her, I will kill you myself. Anything happens to me, you're going to have to answer to Victor. No, I won't. Because he knows the same thing that I do. And what's that? He needs me more than he needs you. Charlie stays with me under my care. That's the deal. Howard knows it too. He knows. He knows. I knew John was only saying that in front of Howard, you know? But that is true. Strand needs June. He doesn't really need Howard. And I think that's what's getting at Howard. Because you can tell, like, he's super stressed. <clears throat> oh, I'm doing it for the tower. I'm doing it for the tower. <laughs> Ever since I got here, I've been hiding. Why? I've been scared. You've been dealing with a massive loss. But now you need to get badass fucking June back. But I promise you this. No matter how much time you have left, you will live to see Strand go down. I will do everything I can to make sure that happens. Is she really that far gone now? With all the radiation she got? Well, I don't know. know. We'll see. We thought about that with Grace. Makes sense with our Madison timeline. Mm. (sighs) (laughs) Uh, These first two episodes, guys, were disappointing. Pointing yeah. this this one, <sighs> I just to me we're not knocking we're not knocking the actress who plays Charlie. Oh no, or, not at all. Any I'm, of the actors. I'm it's not the, acting the perform. I'm not the writing. Yeah, I'm not knocking the performances. The writing and the storytelling was. It just feels off. It just feels off. Yeah, I mean, it's off. not making any sense. It's off. Right? Did we need this? No. No. We didn't need it. <laughs> this, she she didn't so they didn't accomplish their mission. But guess what? But, the beacon's still on. But what was the mission for? Uh Alicia the last episode, which didn't make any sense, um, went to Morgan and said, Stand by. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Be ready. Yep. 
Morgan didn't say he was going to war with Strand. Alicia did. Right. Yeah. So now you get a, a, a uh, an off the wall order from Morgan to Charlie to go do this. I, I, she could have made the whole thing up. She could have made the whole thing up. Like maybe she wanted to do it, or maybe it maybe it did come to Char. Uh, maybe it was Morgan's idea. I, Here, I don't know. Here's another episode too where we get introduced to a character that dies. Like second episode in a row. Yeah, I mean, and, and you Ollie know what? was Ollie was a good kid. He I was did, a nice kid, you know. I did like their story, actually. Um, it was it, cute. It would have made sense. And look, what I, you know, we talked about this in a previous uh, video of what happens to Charlie when Madison comes back. Yeah, like Madison is not going to let Charlie live. Don't care how much she hears that Charlie has made amends. I don't think she'll kill her, but that's just my opinion. I think she will want others, dead. but there, I, I swear there's, I wouldn't say 50, 50, but it's like 50, 50 both ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But between okay, fans, but, but I mean, but is Charlie seriously now? She, she's either going to die. She's from seriously that? now doomed. Yeah. I, I, I think like so. she got that much radiation sickness that she's now doomed. I think so. Fuck. Yep. <laughs> but it does. But dude, it doesn't make sense. Well, she gave her life for what? She nothing didn't, she didn't accomplish anything no she she we got we we got kind of this sketchy thing like okay she wants to she wants a normal life she, or life she wants to be in the tower and then she reveals to ali i was sent here to turn the beacon off so that we can get everybody out now that now i am kind of thinking that did come from morgan that it is a good plan to turn the beacon off so they can get in and get everybody out we've kind of seen it in the trailer unfortunately so i think it's going to happen but did she really did she want a, a a sense of normalcy again did she want that i believe she did you know i don't think she felt that morgan failed them she feels that you know they're in a submarine it's they're not doing well they're yeah, doing but okay. she doesn't have to stay there correct she yeah. could have gone anywhere she wanted to go anywhere with what's his name ali now that was a ploy right yeah possibly possibly yeah, I mean, in the end, it does look like she cared about him. It was just like, God, it was just this young, flirtatious. We had no idea Charlie was using him. You know, they were kind of, they were using each other until they really started to get to know each other, and then it kicked in. Here's how you know um, that. Here's how you know that um, Charlie's actually sick, and it's because you're you were right when uh, June and them came out. Charlie had plenty of. of that probably would have been the better storyline, right? Mm. Have Charlie tell June and who was it? Grace. Grace. In the room, what she was planning to what do. What she was planning to do, yeah. make her feel like she was sick and shut off the light. Right. Because we, it took them like, I don't know, five, six seconds to actually say something. It was like, a moment of silence. It looked like they're about to say she's dead. I thought like, they were going to say she was dead Because you too. saw Grace's face like she was about to break down and like June couldn't say anything. I was like, is she fucking dead? <laughs> but that makes sense that she's terminally chill yeah. now. Right. Because the amount of it, radiation it in her took them time to get that out. But here's the deal. Uh, and again, I'm no expert, but how is Grace alive then? How's Grace alive? Grace um, had a ton of radiation. How's Alicia alive? Um, how is any of them really anyone that is exposed to Charlie now alive? Exactly. Yeah, we don't know the whole ins and outs of the Chernobyl stuff. <laughs> but you would think if she's that, you they would have to quarantine. You can't be in there with her. You'd have to take off the the garments. You'd right? have to you'd have to cover that place. They'd have to go in with freaking hazmat suits to be even near her. And, and to pick up that much radiation in that building. That's if she got it, then he would have gotten it. Ali? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, I mean, that's and the if, kind of stuff, like, if we're going to do a storyline, if we're going to... Exactly. <laughs> or he kissed her. And that's what I'm, that's why I'm like, if we're going to do a storyline about radiation and about a nuclear bomb, right. well, then you, either, you better end it because you can't do it accurately mm -hmm. or, or don't do it at all. Like, right. let's yeah. get out of this blast zone, guys, because yeah. it's not making sense. Yeah, it's... Well, we keep hearing about this pit, and it's the walkers in the freaking crater. So, <laughs> God, I don't know, man. Uh, I yeah, guys. Unfortunately, disappointing episodes. Uh, uh, I know it's gonna get better, but it well, it better get fucking better because those two were not great. Um, kind of hard. It, 
Yeah. Honestly, it kind of made it better that it was kind of a little bit ridiculous. Yeah. It bit. made it a little fun to watch. But yeah. next no. episode, guys, the title is Ophelia. Um, and that one looks good. We kind of already tweeted out. I, I We tweeted out why is AMC doing this to Daniel? Because the, the synopsis is basically his deteriorating mental state is putting like uh, Luciana and Dwight like in danger in West. Like, yeah. I, I don't like seeing his deteriorating might state. Getting, it they, sucks. Is they, this his last episode? That's it's titled Ophelia. They I might mean, be, come they, on. They might be getting rid of him. Oh, I hope not. But this uh, the next episode, episode 11, it, uh, was directed by Alicia Dedham Carey. I think this is her first directorial debut. Uh, or did she, did she direct one the other season? Season Don't six? know. I think she assisted directed. Yeah. I think this is her first full on uh, directorial debut in the next episode. So super excited. Um, yeah, guys, it, th- these two episodes were eh, not great, but yeah. we're glad Fear's back. So, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, I'm glad it's back. It's just yeah. uh, um, hoping that it'll pick up. Really yeah, do. For sure. Once again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell if you are new. And stay tuned for episode 11 reaction coming very soon. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nakamura Nation. We're, We're out. out.